Hello everyone. Welcome to the Wild Garden Farms kitchen. Today we are all nice and cozy and we are making some really decadent Christmas presents that are so easy to make. People have no idea how easy they are and they're absolutely lovely. So these are herbal lotion bars. So I'm gonna show you. So this is a lavender one that I made. And you can do all kinds of different herbs and oils in these for different smells or different purposes. This is a fur and patchouli one. Look how gorgeous that is. And then this one is a peppermint mocha. So since we're using cocoa butter, they're all gonna have a little bit of a chocolatey flair to them. Mm, let me show you what this looks like. So gorgeous. So I did peppermint in this one. Now, you can order these molds online. I will put a link to the that I bought down below. And this really couldn't be more simple. So the product is this deliciously smelling, really nourishing for your skin, incredibly hydrating, very luxurious bar that I've been using when I get out of the shower. You can keep it in your pocketbook for your hands. I gave one to my husband. He's out in Colorado hunting right now to use on his lips or in his face when the wind gets intense. So here we go. I've got my double boiler going. This is like my best friend lately. I am going to do two and a half cups of cocoa butter. And this one came in a block. I ordered this online as well, and I'll put the link down below too. It is much easier to work with when you don't have to chop it and shred it. And sometimes they come in little pellets. I don't know why I ordered that block. I just did. I was like, I need to order some. So we're gonna do about two and a half cups of that. And that's really the main ingredient here. So we're just getting that all nice and melted down. We are going to do a half a cup of beeswax pellets. Put that in. Everything goes in together. So it's really easy. And then a half a cup of coconut oil. My hands are all slippery. <laughs> so I infused this coconut oil. You can see that gorgeous pink color. I infused this with rose. And the way I did that was in my double boiler. I put rose in the top, I think about probably a cup. I put coconut oil and let them infuse in gentle low heat for a couple hours. I have a video for that and I will put that down below as well. You could do lavender, you could do pine, which is really good for the skin. You could do calendula. You could do comfrey, you could do plantain. There's many, many herbs you could do. You could do chamomile, would be a really nice, gentle, calming. You could infuse with chamomile and then put some lavender essential oil in the final product. And that would be very calming and soothing. So this is just rose. I love using rose because rose is so good for the skin. It is hydrating, it is rejuvenating, and it has a delicate smell that when you're putting it on your skin, it just feels, I used this word a second ago, but it just feels luxurious. So I'm waiting for all of this just to melt down. Okay, it looks a like a half a cup here. Get all that good coconut oil in. And you want just regular coconut oil that is solid at room temperature. There we go. So again, this is rose, but you could do lavender or calendula or chamomile or pine. It would just be so lovely. Essentially, this is it, you guys. Put it in the double boiler, let it melt down. If you would like, you can add vitamin E, just get these little capsules, or you can get it in liquid form. And this is just to help preserve the lotion bar, but I'm telling you, these are not gonna last long because people are really obsessed with them, it's so fun. I've already gone through 
two of them in like a week. I just can't stop putting them on. They're so customizable, which is what I really love. So I'm gonna put, let's go ahead and put three in here. Now, I've got the vitamin E in. Everything is melting and blending nicely. I'm just gonna give it a little stir, kind of break up some of that beeswax. All right. So there's two ways that you can get plants into this recipe. You can infuse the oil, infuse the coconut oil, like I talked about earlier, and or you can use essential oils after everything has melted down. I used fir and patchouli essential oils for this one. I used lavender for this one, and then I had a peppermint mocha. That's what I called it, peppermint mocha, because it's got the chocolate flavor in there. So good. Today, I am going to do Siberian fir, vanilla, and a little bit of holy basil. And these I am making for me. I've made so many rounds of presents of these lotion bars. And today, I'm really excited to make one just with what I want in it. So I have the rose infused coconut oil and then I'm gonna do Siberian fir, Madagascar vanilla. This is a new one I have. I'm really excited about that. And mm, holy basil. Everything is blended and nice and melted down in the pot. I'm gonna add the essential oils now. We're gonna want about 20 total. I don't like things too strong but I definitely want some flavor in there and some smell. And all of these are really good for your skin. So that was the Siberian fur. Oh my goodness. And as it hits the heat, I can already smell it. This is the vanilla. So I did about five drops of vanilla. Not everyone loves vanilla, but it is just my favorite. And then holy basil, eight drops of holy basil, maybe a little bit more. Mmm, so good. So the one caution that I give is since there is water on the bottom here, we wanna just wipe the bottom off. We don't want any of that water to get into our lotion bars because it can mold them. So I'm gonna give it one more little stir just to blend the essential oils. And then you pour it into the molds. And it really works perfectly that it fills 12 molds right to the top. So I filled up the molds. I'm gonna let these sit here just for a few minutes till they start to harden. And then I'm gonna pop them in the freezer for a little bit just so they get nice and firm before we pop them out of the molds. I'll be right back. It is the unveiling. I'm so excited here. So these have been in the freezer for about half an hour. You don't have to put them in the freezer, but it just gets them nice and firm. And something else that I didn't mention earlier, you can just use cupcake tins. You can use little baking cups. So put little baking cups in a cupcake tin, pour in about a third of a cup and let it, and let it harden. And that is perfectly fine as well. You don't need to get fancy. I just like to do really pretty aesthetic things for gifts but that's just me. So take your mold and you're gonna kind of pull it apart like this and then gently pop out. Oh, you guys, these are so pretty, y'all. And look at this. Oh, look at that. I mean, is that not just gorgeous? And then when you're ready to use it, you just take it, rub it between your hands, the body heat, will start to soften it up and it just becomes like the most perfect cream lotion ever. So I also, like I said, we get fancy over here. I got these little tins and they fit perfectly in the tins. And you can make little labels if you want or you can just gift them in this little tin box. But look how cute and perfect that is. You can just slowly pop out each one and just be careful, be gentle so that the nice designs stay intact. And you have 12. So you can give, you know, one or a couple to each person. And I like to see, can you see a little bit of the rose in there? I think that is so pretty. 
but really fantastic gifts. Not expensive to make at all once you get all the goodies. And completely customizable with your herbs that you infuse in the coconut oil, or you don't have to, the essential oils that you put in after the fact, or you don't have to. If you don't add anything, it'll just be, it'll have like a little chocolatey flavor, like a little chocolate, little coconut. But it's just, it's just lovely. So, make them yourselves, have fun. Kids love to make this. And it's as simple as putting everything in the top pot of a double boiler. So have fun, happy holidays, make your gifts. People really, really, really appreciate it. Keep your skin nice and smooth and hydrated and moisturized in the colder months. Get some good scent on you. Get the benefits of all these so many amazing plants. And take care, we'll see you soon.